So Flickr is um, a photo sharing site and there are lots of these available now on the internet. Uh, people like taking lots of photos, uploading them and sharing them with friends and family using Facebook or Twitter or email etc. But it also means that there's a huge resource now of images that have been taken by non-professionals. But just because they've been uploaded it does not mean that you can use them. So again you'll need to look for the permission. So this time I'm going to search for Border Collie and we've got lots and lots of different images here. Um, we'll start with this one on the left hand side so you can have a look. So great picture. On the right we've got the name of the person who has uh, taken it and when it was taken and here you have um, a link that you could send to somebody to link to this picture. You've got your Twitter, your Facebook, your email um, options but in terms of if you want to use it in a project you need to go to actions and view all sizes and it's here that you will see the license. So in this case it's copyrighted with all rights reserved by John Bratton which means that he doesn't want you to use it in his project. So although there is the option to download it um, you shouldn't use this in your project because the license there has been specified. So we go back and let's choose this picture um, and we'll go straight to actions. I'm afraid if you're using Flickr this can be the frustrating thing. Here we have again the license all rights reserved and they've actually d d disabled downloading of their photos so you can't use that one. I'll go to this one straight into actions and here we can see some creative common symbols let's just zoom in there so you can see them more clearly so the license here then attribution so you can use it as long as you say who has um, taken the picture and it's for non-commercial use only so that uh, dollar sign with the with the line through it means non-commercial use now we have only got this is the largest size of image that we have um, here um, sometimes you can choose to have bigger ones and you would just right click on it copy save as, as normal but it would be important that you uh, give the attribution to this uh, this person and if you needed to record the source then that would be the URL there would be the source of the image so that would be how you would use 